What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I have two of the hottest phones, the most popular phones right now out today. I have the iPhone 10, or iPhone X, whatever you wanna call it, and I also have the Pixel 2 XL right here. Now, I wanted to go over the operating system for both, and I chose, I could have chose the Galaxy Note 8, I could have chose you know, some other phone for Android, but I decided to choose the Pixel 2 XL because it's a vanilla Android experience, meaning it's gonna be basically what you get with uh, an iPhone. iPhone's not gonna have any bloatware, any other uh, Samsung or LG car you know, type apps on there. It just has what Google expects Android to have. So I kinda wanna go through that, and let's just do it. So first off, you've got home screens. Now with home screens, uh, Apple only has home screens. They don't have really anything else, another place to put apps. Now you can add apps into folders if you want to make things a little bit neater. So if I wanted to drag this into here, I can just drag it in here and create a folder if it lets me. There you go. So you can, it even gives you a name if you want and basically that, so you can do that. Otherwise, you don't have any other place to put your apps, which is different than what you get with Android. Now with Android, obviously, you get things like, uh, you get your home screens, obviously, and you can set them up any way you want. And you also have folders, just like you would with Apple, but you also have uh, a, a launcher. So you swipe up from the bottom, you have all your apps in alphabetical order, which I actually kind of like. And because you have two places to, to place your apps. You have a launcher and you also can place them on your home screen. Again, I love it. And if you're in here, say you got, you know, all your apps are in A through Z order. And if you want to search for an order, uh, an app that begins with M, maybe McDonald's app, you can search just for it right in here. So very cool, really, really easy uh, with the operating system. Next, let's check out the settings. So to get to settings, Apple has its own dedicated app for that, more or less, if you want to call it that. You go to settings here. Let's go back just because I was setting this up. And then with Android, you have uh, ways you can get to it too. You can either swipe up and go into it from your app launcher, just like you kind of do with Apple, or you can swipe down and go into it right here. And this is the settings menus for uh, iPhone versus Android. And I haven't I'm not an expert with iPhone. I don't pretend to be anymore. I used to love iPhones. I, I haven't used iPhones in years now. So, you know, maybe there's another shortcut for settings uh, on here. But ultimately, when you go to settings, I, I just find Apple's settings menu kind of like crazy. For instance, in display, I was looking for... Uh, auto brightness, meaning that you know when you're in a dark room, it would it would not have the screen so bright, and when it's really light out, it would automatically switch to a really bright screen. So I would think it would just be in display and brightness. I come in here, I don't see it. it, but if you look for it, it's hidden away. So this is where you go to find it. You go to general, accessibility. I don't know why it's in here, and then you go into where is it display, accommodations. And then you see auto brightness. Like, why is it in there? Why can't it be just be under display? It's confusing to me. I, I feel like Apple's notification or, or settings are just like in all these different sub menus. And I actually find it very difficult to find. Now, I know they have a search that you can do stuff like this. Um, let's see if I just type brightness, if it pulls up auto brightness. It does. So it, it's just, I feel, uh, and then I go to Android. And I, maybe it's just because I'm used to it. But I mean, you still have the same search functions in here. Uh, if you type brightness, so you get adaptive brightness. You also have uh, brightness level. But ultimately, if I come into display, you know, I have all these different settings in here. And then I go in here, and you still have uh, all these other settings for, for brightness. I don't have to go around and just look for different settings within uh, brightness. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I love the way Android does it. And I feel like their settings menu, like I said, is just a lot easier to find things more so than Apple's is. Um, there's things I like about Apple back in the day, you know, in terms of when you'd go into the settings and maybe you wanted to connect to Wi-Fi. It's easier to tell somebody to do that rather than, you know, because Android, you can do the same thing. You go into settings, you can go into to network and then, you know, connect to a Wi-Fi. Uh, hot, hot, you know, hot spot that you want to. Otherwise, you can. I would always tell people to go swipe down and then you know press and hold on Wi-Fi, and you can go into it that way as well. So I like that you know Apple has quick toggles and uh, within settings to get there. And Apple 
kind of does, kind of doesn't. But just to go back to the settings, I don't know. I just find it easier. I don't know about you guys. It's easier to find stuff. You know, when they say battery, I just go into battery. Now with here, I did see battery at the bottom here. I just feel like there's too many options. It's insane. Like, look at this. It's just, there's screens and screens. Like, some stuff's under general. Some stuff, I would think most of the stuff would just be under the main stuff. But then you go into general and you have to find it in here. Like, why is dictionary in here? Like, why? why? Date and time. Why is that in there? Why doesn't it just, I don't, it's just confusing to me. I find, this look how much cleaner this is. You know, you're looking for something, you have apps and notifications. You can see what's connected in AKA Bluetooth, NFC. You've got your network. You've got your display settings. You get battery settings. You get sound settings, storage, security and location. And that's it. Just one page. And then obviously when you go in here, it might break it down into more sub menus. But other than that, it's so easy. It's much easier. So I'm giving the settings win to Android. Let's talk about the quick toggles. Now, they kind of do it in different ways. Now, with Android, uh, at least the Pixel, you swipe down and you have your quick toggles here. As with Apple, at least on the iPhone 10, you swipe down from the bottom here on the right and you have your quick toggles here. And this isn't a bad thing, but some of these things I know people probably won't know what's going on here. Of course, that looks like a flashlight, but like, what's that? I always forget. That's your timer. Like, I guess it looks like a timer, but I mean, why can't you put a little tag under there? So I know what it is. I do like this. This is a nice little touch, the making the screen bright and not bright. I think that's nice. Volume, easy to do. I like it. But I don't know. Some of these things are confusing. I think they should have names under them. You go to Android, at least on the Pixel side, and you can see everything spelt right out. That's your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, alarms. This is like to make you know things silent. Your flashlight, auto-rotate, uh, battery saver, cast, mobile data. And you have pages of it if you want. And you can customize it too if you want. You just hit this pencil and you have all these, these other things that you can either drag down from here that you don't want that are active or things that you don't, you do want that are active that are not active. And that's that simple, guys. I'm loving it. And I got to give that to Android again. This is pretty. Don't get me wrong. This looks, it's more graphical. It's, it's got some colors to it. It looks better. I, I'd have to say, but this seems easier to me. It just, it's spelt out. It's a little bit easier. Why not? And it's funny because I think a lot of people, make Android seem very, very difficult, but Android can be as easy or as difficult as you want. And that's the beauty of Android. That's what I love about Android. Next up, let's talk about notifications. I'm gonna swipe down, which is weird. All right, you got my notifications here. And you guys are from earlier today. I have all these notifications. I don't have too many right now on, on Android, but Android, some apps will give me a picture like my camera from downstairs. Um, if I want to see more of these, I can swipe down with two fingers to see if I had like multiple to, just to make it easier and you can swipe them away. If I want to tap on it, it'll view it. If I press and hold it, I can uh, turn these notifications off or hit done, whatever I want, just so I don't have to see it anymore if, they're, if it bugs you, which is awesome. So that's cool with it. With, with, with uh, iPhone, you press and hold it nothing happens. You don't have anything. Okay. I can swipe it to the left. I can hit view. I can hit clear or I can just continue swiping it and it'll get away. That's nice. Before, if I remember correctly on the iPhone eight and the ones before that, you'd have to like, if you swipe to the left, no, it swipe to the left, it would bring up the next setting or whatever it was. But now if you, you, and then you'd have to, if you wanted to get rid of the notification, you had to hit a little red X. It was stupid. Again, I have to give it to Android. Android has a better notification system, miles better than what Apple does. I do want to say Apple has improved it, but right now I wouldn't say it's anything that great. Also, if you want to get rid of these all at once, Android, just one click button, clear all, gets rid of all the notifications. And then with Apple, looks like you got to hit an X and then hit clear. Kind of similar, a little bit. It's a little bit uh, more work with Apple, a couple more steps. Next, let's talk about recent apps. Now, recent apps is going to be the apps you've had open most recently. If I do that with Android, I press this. It's going to show me all the apps that I have open. I can hit clear all to close them all at once, or I can swipe them left or right to get rid of them completely, or I can hit the X. Really easy way to get rid of those apps. Now, with iPhone, let's see if I can even do it. I'm going to hold it up. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's open this up. It's going to be easier this way. 
There you go. Now I have all my apps. Now, if I, I can't just swipe them away, unfortunately. If I want to do that, if I want to get rid of the app, I have to press and hold, and then I have to hit these one at a time. There's no close all. And this isn't big stuff. This isn't stuff Apple can't automatically fix with an update. They could. They just, for whatever reason, don't. Where's my close all button? Why do I need to click each freaking app to get rid of it? It's kind of BS. Again, give it to Android. Android has a better recent apps. And plus, the other cool thing about Android, let's say I open this app up. I'm like, hey, I want to see what other apps I can open right now. Maybe I want to be in my whatever settings right now. So I'll click that and I can do both of these apps at the same time. You can't uh, run multi-window on uh, Apple. You can do this on Android, really easy. Do whatever you want, look at games, click that, click this and make it one bigger one. Smaller, again, you gotta give it to Android. Android, it, it's so easy guys. It's, I, I wish people that are on Apple would give Android more of a chance in terms of, again, it's not that hard. And, Android's improved so much over the years in terms of the way that the, the operating system looks, the way it acts. It's so easy, guys. It's it, You don't have to do, you can, again, you can make it as easy or as complicated as you want. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is like widgets, things on the screen that auto update. So if you look at the, my front screen right here, I've got my weather, the time, the date on Apple. You don't have that. You have to go to another screen to get that. I have to swipe all the way over to the left and I eventually see, you know, my top stories, things like that. And it does show the weather, but that's the way they do widgets. Another way you can do it with Android is here's a widget right here. I have, it's a, it's the uh, sports score. Th uh, and another way you can do widgets on Android is just, here's another widget on Android. This is going to show me sports scores for today. And it's a good, cool thing. And you can do more like that. You can just press and hold, go into widgets. You can add these little things to your screen so that you can see information and it will auto update and you can interact with it without having to directly open the app itself. So easy, quick ways to look at information. Maybe I want to add a Spotify one. I click that and it's going to show me the last song I played. If I want, I just press it. Quick and easy ways to add information to your screen. And usually you can resize these to some of these. I don't, look, I don't think I can resize these specific ones, but if you want, you can. And then I'll say if you want to remove it, press and hold it and remove it. It's gone. I don't need it. Or add it to something, you know, add it to another screen if you want. Really quick and easy ways to add information to your screens. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these two operating systems, which one's easier, which one's more advanced, which one looks better. Give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you down the road. Peace.